The Book of Ruth is not just a love story or a story of the redemption of one family in Israel. God doesn't waste words. Nothing is superfluous and nothing that is needed is left out. It is all there for us to see. Every story is given to show pictures of other things. Ruth is just a little bit longer than many of these other type of pictures that we saw back in the book of Genesis. In the first chapter, six people were named. Elimelech, Naomi, Malone, Kilion, Orpah, and Ruth. The names of two specific locations were given as well. Bethlehem and Judah and the country of Moab. The family was further identified as being in Ephratah, Bethlehem. Each name's meaning was explained at that time. The story begins with the words, Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled. This then is the time of Israel's pure theocracy. God was the king and the people were under him. Eventually, this was replaced by the time of the kings. All right? The people got tired of the way things were and they asked for a king. At that time, the Lord said this to Samuel. And the Lord said to Samuel, Heed the voice of the people and all that they say to you, for they have not rejected you but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. The first period then is represented by Elimelech, whose name means God is king, or my God is king. Either way, he represents the time from the giving of the law of Moses through the time of the judges until the time of the kings. His wife Naomi represents the Israelite people. Her name means pleasantness of the Lord. It's a perfect name for the people he's called as his own. The two sons then represent the two kingdoms. The first is that of the northern kingdom known as Israel, represented by Kilion. His name means wasting away, and it perfectly describes what happened to those people. They were exiled by Sennacherib, king of Assyria in 722 BC, and they simply wasted away as a kingdom. Malone means man of weakness or great weakness. He represents the southern kingdom known as Judah. They were the bearers of the law, which is something that is actually termed as weak by Paul in Romans 8.3. And again, in Hebrews 7.18, it says this about the law. For on the one hand, there is the annulling of the former commandment, meaning the law, because of its weakness and unprofitableness. This then is a story of the people of Israel throughout their history, represented by Naomi, who is the only character who is consistently noted from the beginning of the book, all the way to the end. Even though I showed that the movement of Elimelech and his family from Israel could not be considered disobedience, the pictures that that movement makes is just the opposite. It reflects the continued disobedience of the people of Israel. Throughout their history, the biblical record shows that they incessantly disobeyed God's commandments and also joined themselves to foreigners in their rebellion against him. Thus, they suffered exile. In their exiles, the theocracy and the kingdoms died. 